In the silent void between stars, there are places so quiet, so faint, that even the most powerful telescopes in the world can barely sense their presence. They are like ghosts, drifting in the galactic night. But one of them, is special. It doesn't burn brightly. It doesn't shine with power. In fact, it barely exists. Yet it may hold a giant secret that could change everything we know about galaxies, the early universe, and the invisible forces that shape it all. This, is the story of Ursa Major 3, the smallest galaxy ever discovered, and why its existence is shaking the very foundation of cosmology. It began quietly. In 2023, deep inside massive sky surveys like Unions and Pan Stars, astronomers were analyzing data not to find bright objects, but dim ones. Really dim. They were looking for ultra-faint dwarfs, galaxies so small and so sparse, they almost vanish into background noise. And then they notice something. A barely perceptible cluster of stars in the Ursa Major constellation. It wasn't in the catalogs. It had no obvious structure. But it was there, quiet, faint, and very old. They called it Unions 1, or more commonly, Ursa Major 3. To the naked eye, it was nothing. Just a patch of stars. But to a trained astrophysicist, it was the beginning of a cosmic mystery. Galaxies are huge. They contain billions of stars, clouds of gas, dark matter, black holes, and structures spanning thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands, of light years. But Ursa Major 3 was different. It had 60 stars. That's it. To give you context, our Milky Way has over 200 billion stars. Even a small dwarf galaxy like Fornax has tens of millions. And yet, Ursa Major 3 had only 60. How could this even be a galaxy? Some astronomers suggested it wasn't. That it was just a globular cluster, a tight group of stars orbiting the Milky Way. But the data said otherwise. The team used spectroscopy from the Keck Observatory. They measured the velocities of the stars. And what they found was astonishing. The stars were moving too fast for their visible mass. If you just counted the stars, the gravity shouldn't be strong enough to hold them together. They should have flown apart long ago. But they didn't. Something was holding them, binding them, like an invisible hand. That something was dark matter. Dark matter is a strange thing. We can't see it. We can't touch it. But we know it's there, because of its gravity. Galaxies spin faster than they should. Galactic clusters stay together when they shouldn't. Light bends around empty space. Something invisible is pulling on the universe. We call it dark matter and Ursa Major 3 might be one of the most extreme examples of it. Estimates suggest that UMA 3 has a mass-to-light ratio of up to 6,500. That means, for every single unit of visible matter, there are 6,500 units of invisible dark matter. That's unheard of. Even the most dark matter-dominated galaxies rarely exceed a ratio of 100. But here, in this tiny ghost of a galaxy, dark matter dominates the scene. This isn't just a curiosity. It's a revolution, because it tells us something very, very important. You don't need a lot of stars to be a galaxy. You just need gravity. The stars in Ursa Major 3 are ancient, older than the Milky Way, formed more than 11 billion years ago, not long after the Big Bang. And their composition is primitive. They contain almost no metals, the heavier elements that come from generations of dying stars. That suggests, these stars formed before galaxies like ours ever existed. Before supernovae had time to enrich space. Before complex structures had formed. They are cosmic fossils. By studying galaxies like Ursa Major 3, scientists gain insight into the first era of galaxy formation. They are like living relics, untouched by the processes that shaped the modern universe. Still clinging to existence, orbiting silently in the halo of the Milky Way. Here's the problem. Galaxies this small shouldn't survive. The gravitational pull of the Milky Way is immense. Over billions of years, tidal forces should have ripped an object like Ursa Major 3 to shreds. But it's still here. Stable. Intact. Floating alone, like a ghost ship in the night. How? The answer once again, is dark matter. It's the invisible scaffolding that holds Ursa Major 3 together. And it also suggests there may be dozens, maybe hundreds of these ghost galaxies hiding just beyond our sight. Astronomers call it the missing satellite problem. 
The standard model of the universe says there should be hundreds of small galaxies orbiting the Milky Way. But we've only found a few dozen. Where are the rest? The discovery of Ursa Major 3, a galaxy so small and faint it took three major telescopes to even confirm it, gives us a clue. They're out there. They're just too faint, too dark, too ghostly to see, unless we know exactly where to look. And with new instruments like the Vera C, Rubin Observatory, the hunt is just beginning. So what have we learned? Ursa Major 3 is not just the smallest galaxy ever found. It is a cosmic whisper, a fragile clue, a living question mark. It tells us that galaxies don't need to be big, that gravity is more important than light, that the early universe was full of ghosts we've only just begun to uncover. In a cosmos filled with giants, it's the smallest things that sometimes carry the greatest secrets. In a universe where size is power, the smallest galaxy ever found has whispered to us a truth we almost missed, that even the faintest voices in the cosmos can echo across eternity.